What's going on? This is my life for the show. I'm your host, Donald Washington. This is the scene of two sisters, seven and six. The six, seven-year-old baby was shot in the chest and the torso, killed. The six-year-old young girl was shot in the chest and the armpit. She's in critical condition. I think she is expected to make it. This happened on the 6200 block of West Grand in the Belmont Central Northwest side, Chicago. This is absolutely bananas. I want to take you guys out there to where this happened. Now, story is going to read that the mother was outside putting the kids in the father's car. The kids were inside the car. She was strapping them in the seat. When somebody drove up, boom, opened fire on the car, killing the kids. Well, killing the seven-year-old. She looks just like the other seven-year-old baby that got killed in Chicago. 32 children this year killed. 253 children shot this year alone in Chicago since January 1st. 2021, the seven-year-old girl, and her name is Serenity Broughton, and the six-year-old girl is Aubrey Broughton. Their family's heartfelt message, um, Andrew Holmes, who is a community activist, is pledging $2,000 reward for the capture. CPDtip.com, um, if you have something, you can... Um, Turn in an anonymous tip in this case. Turn them in. They, got all the in there. they deserved the, the chair for this. Also, this is the scene of a 70-year-old woman this morning in Hagwish. I want to show you guys the story here. The story's going to read a 70-year-old woman. This is the scene right here. Fatally shot Monday while sitting in the car on the far south side. The woman was parked in the car at 4.25 a.m. Why a 70-year-old woman is out at 4 a.m., I don't know. 13,000 block, 300 block of South Baltimore. This is in Hagwish. When two males approached firing shots. I'm assuming this is case of a mistaken, mistaken identity or they just shot up the car. She was taken to Christ Medical Oakland where she was listed in critical condition. She was transferred to the medical uh, where she later died. She has not been identified yet. But this is the scene and the picture here. Fatally shot 70 year old woman. This is absolutely bananas. Also this protest in Dalton, Illinois, they're protesting the killing of the uh, of the Dalton police. They're protesting at that mayor's, the Dalton mayor's Alexis Wilton. And I'm sorry, for Alexis Wilton, the 19 year old that was killed by the police. They're they're protesting at the mayor's house, Tiffany Hayner Hayard. I want you guys. I think they have a mug shot of her. <laughs> All right, so let me let me show you guys why they're protesting. They're saying this young girl was struck by the police officer. Now, the police officer's statement was that he was reaching for the keys, but they're saying it's a push start, and it didn't look like it in this video, and that he struck her, and that's why she drove off. And this is the camera of the other officer here. It looks as if she was struck. Now look, you see her head going back. Boom, it looked like she was hit right there. Boom, you see her head go back. Look at her head, boom, right there. Boom, struck. Look at her head go back. She was hit. Boom, you see her head go back. And then on the other side, you can see the officer reach in and that's when she pulled off. Also showing in this video, there's no cops being dragged.
But they're saying the cop jumped in the back seat and was in the car. He's the one that shot us, something like that. However, from what I see there, I didn't see any cops being dragged. And it appears he hit her from this video. I mean, her face, boom, he reached in and she went back. So this is the protest here. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. If we don't get it, shut it down. So it looks like they're carrying a mug shot of the mayor. She, I think she's the first female mayor in Dalton. And she's super young. I don't know how, how old Tiffany uh, Henyard is. But she is pretty young. She looks 35 at the most. Um, she's the mayor of Dalton. They were extremely proud of her for being the mayor. However, it looks like they're carrying a mug shot of her. But, you know, everybody got a past and, you know, that doesn't define anyone. Um, but I think the ruling was that it was justified. They're still investigating those police officers. People, what side are you on? We on the side. What side are you on? KK, hey, hey, how many people have we killed today? Don't the police? KKK, how many people have you killed today? Y'all buff as hell in them suits. I won't lie to y'all. Y'all don't got shit else to do but stand on this. Also, another news. Jamal Green is uh, staging a protest, um, a hunger strike, saying something like five days um, on top of Garrett A. Morgan on 83rd and Kerfoot. And from what I understand, it's something like to bring awareness for... This is the crime chaser, Mark G. Johnson, who does an amazing job in Chicago of covering stuff, crime in Chicago. J-Mo's camping out on top of the school. Yes, sir. You can get it right now if you want to. Oh, fuck, all right? Okay. I'm going to let you do that. All right. Alright, so you're going to see the scene of that um, However And also uh, Jedediah Brown is doing a walk from Chicago To Atlanta And from what they're saying Is to bring awareness To the violence in Chicago I got much respect For um, Brother Jamal Green And Jedediah Brown, I know both of them. Um, I interviewed both of them several times while I was covering protests and marches in Chicago. But my personal opinion is that we have to do it ourselves. Nobody is coming to save us. And I mean absolutely nobody. We got to step out there and put that initiative in. And I am not putting it on them. I do disagree with that tactics. We, we, we brought that Martin Luther King, let's beg the mayor, the governor to do for us. Please give us, please give us. And I'm trying to bring that Malcolm X, look here. Let's do it ourselves. Group economics. Shop at the businesses in our communities. Get out there, put our own feet to the floor and do it ourselves. A lot of times, I think some activists, I'm not saying all, but I think some activists do a lot of this just for attention. And I disagree with some of the tactics. Because everybody in the world, you can go to South Africa and they've heard of the violence in Chicago. True story. David, some people follow me in the UK, Africa, other countries. They are, they are aware of the violence. I mean, everybody in the country is aware of the violence. The President of the United States addresses it 
all the time. So um, don't get me wrong. I got much respect, much love for them brothers. They're at least doing something. A lot of people are doing nothing. That's cool. I got respect for them. Um, but we must do it ourselves. And we must get out there. Group economics. Take care of your kids. Make sure it's not your kids out there causing havoc on those streets. We all play a small part. With group economics, when we give a thriving community has what? Less crime because children could go up there and get a job. We should be able to send our children down the street to get a job. We spend 98% of our money outside our community. Therefore, the businesses in our community fail. Therefore, the children in our community don't have jobs. So now they have to go to outside the community, give outside the community jobs. And inside our community, we got to sell drugs. We got to rob each other. We got to shoot, kill each other. And then we got this violence. Um, so the hunger strike was also for the mayor to bring more resources to the south and west side. Open up our schools and stuff like that. So in that aspect, that's cool. But nobody's coming to save us. And should they? No. Till you help yourselves as a community, till we help ourselves, it ain't going to get done. There's a lot we can do. And a lot of work to be done. Because when I see seven-year-old babies being shot and killed, we are in extreme, extreme state of emergency. Look at that seven-year-old baby that was viciously shot and murdered. These young cats is spraying up everything on the block. I also talk about, man, I'm done with being blue no matter who. I'm done with that party. I'm independent. Blue no matter who has gotten us worse. Biden is extend more benefits to people who do less. I'm a big fan. If you don't move your feet, then today, guess what you don't do? You don't eat. I'm a huge fan of that. If you ain't getting out there putting your feet to the ground and making great decisions, the Democratic Party is like, hey, you make a crazy, messed up decision. We got you. And I believe it's to do. I, honestly, I did a study on this. In 1970 to 1973, the projects was a project to see, hey, if we could reward them for doing, making bad decisions, will we get more bad decisions? In 1973, the study came out, yes. More reward for bad decision, more bad decisions being made. Therefore, more violence, more crime. Job well done. In 1973, guess what? It ain't coincidence, welfare was quadrupled. If you don't watch the Chicago Way documentary, I have it on YouTube. About halfway through the documentary, I cover this. In 1973, Welfare was quadrupled after their project was done. The project is not a derogatory name for that particular operation. It was just that. It was just a project. And that name stuck. Okay, the projects. We want to see if we could destroy your family value. Your family structure. Oh, what did we do? And it worked. So now, statistically... If you're born in a single family household, you're 90, I think 95% chance of being born in poverty. Our children are 95% doomed from birth. They you born, you're 95% chance of losing. We need to turn that around. Um, 90, I mean, everything is in the, uh, anywhere from 78% to 90%. Dropout. Felonies, poverty, you name it. Every negative statistic top the chart. Anyway, shout out to everybody sending me stories. I got a lot of other stories people want me to do. I haven't been able to get to them. I will get to them. Shout out to y'all rocking with me. Rock with my YouTube channel more. Um, go to YouTube. Go to My Life in the Shy, My Life in the CHI. Appreciate y'all. Peace, peace.